Welcome back to Cashflow Nexus, the channel of faith, trading, and wealth, where we teach how to trade with Ichimoku and how we observe the charts with Ichimoku. And today we will be looking at XRP and seeing where XRP is going this week. And as you guys know, uh, this is a God-fearing channel. We always put God first, so we're going to start off with the scripture. Uh, you know, you guys, I always love to put God out there. I always love to give him glory, honor, and praise in everything that I do. Uh, I will be coming out of Romans 12 and 2. The reason why I want to give this scripture, because this is going to lead into what I'm going to be giving you guys, probably thinking tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys a video on my darkest thoughts and where I came from as far as uh, my spiritual walk. So if this could help you guys in any way, I'm going to definitely do that because I think people have a lot of healing that they need to do inside and I want to show you guys that where I came from and where, where I was healed from. So uh, I want to read you guys the scripture real quick. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So you guys, I'm not going to go into that just yet. I'm going to do a teaching on this possibly tomorrow i'm just getting all of it together and i'm gonna <laughs> guys you will see where i came from and you know mentally where uh everything you know in my life has been at up until this point so i, I hope this blesses you guys stay tuned for that video tomorrow yeah i'm definitely gonna do it tomorrow stay tuned for that video tomorrow definitely subscribe and you know prepare to hear my darkest thoughts that i've ever had in my life Stay tuned to that. So, looking at the charts, you know, it's, it's a little frustrating looking at XRP. Everybody's, you know, waiting for the moon. But, you know, we've still been in this box for quite a while. And we've been ranging in this box for, let's see how long, about 10 weeks so far. Yeah, we've been ranging in this uh, box for 10 weeks. So, you know, we're still, you know, at weekly support here. And the market is, you know, still in this range here. So right now it's kind of hard to say what's going to happen because, uh, you know, looking at it on the weekly time frame, key is still flat, so market's still flat. We're still underneath the cloud, so this is considered bearish. But look here, well, this is flat, so this means we're still in the range. So nothing is absolute until this angles to the downside. When you get this angulation like you see right here, Whenever you see this happening with the market, you see that the market's in a strong downtrend. And, you know, whenever you see go flat, you know, markets tends to range as you see a range. So that's where the market is currently at. Looking at it on the daily time frame, sitting at the support, we are underneath the cloud. We're very bearish here, but we still haven't broke this key level. Once we break this key level, then we'll see a, you know, a major sell-off to the downside, but we have not had that yet or shown you know, absolute signs of that happening. You see here, we've been rejected once, twice, and three times, and look here, we're getting rejected again here. So right now, it's, you know, XRP is still holding strong at this point. Uh, looking at it on the four-hour chart, look, four-hour chart's very bearish, but we do have a bullish cross right here. That's a good sign for, you know, potential move upside uh looking at it right here let me go ahead and just put her yeah okay good so you see price is is holding strong here but you know it's fighting it's really fighting at this level uh you know we have a bullish cross so i'll take that into consideration this is flat this is angled down so this is what i'm you know concerned about but at the same time what we need to start seeing for price to start making its way up, we need to start seeing people spend A start to roll over, remain flat, and this, you know, start, start to creep up to the upside and just remain flat. Get something like this, start twisting. So we need something like that in order to see higher prices. Or we just bust through here and just turn into a thin cloud like this to the upside. So we need some you know strong price action here we need some more demand for xrp otherwise xrp is going to continue to drop uh looking at on the hour time frame 
it's ranging. We are trying to, you know, go higher above the cloud. But, you know, to even be considered, you know, worth trading at all, we need to get above this level right here. So where we're going to be trading this is definitely on the smaller time frame, 15 minute chart. As you see here, we are, you know, moving up, following this trend line right here. And we're in this channel, which is a, you know, it looks like a bearish channel. We had a negative touch here, negative touch here, negative touch here, a positive touch, and a positive touch. But right now we're, you know, we're bouncing off this cloud. This cloud is acting as current support. If we break through this cloud, expect prices to go lower. Especially if we break this trend line here, we'll see lower prices possibly down back to, you know, test these lows at 17 cents and probably, probably lower if we break lower. Um, so what's going to happen, we need to decide at this current point if we're going to make a move. So I'm going to color this purple. So here's our move right here. Have this move. For this move you don't have an absolute signal just yet but i do see here i take you know the candles off real quick we're starting to get a bullish cross. we had a bearish cross then a bullish cross and if we manage to get this bullish cross potentially you know bounce off this bottom or make our way back to the upside so right now i'm leaning to the upside at least up to this point not too high, you know, I'm not trying to make, you know, crazy moves, but I'm gonna say from this point, at least if it's worth trading it right now, not not exactly. But, you know, right now, this is what I see in the market. Right now, it's still 50-50. We've got that, that bullish cross, but I'm going to need to be upside for this momentum so far until, unless we break this level, then I will be bearish, but for now, I am bullish for the meantime, at least up to this level to test one more time. And then if we could break here, you know, then I'll look for prices to be higher. But if we manage to fail, then I expect prices to move lower than before. All right. That's being said. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. Comment, subscribe, and sub. Uh, you know, sub to this channel for a good analysis and continue to, uh, you know, support this channel. I definitely want to start putting out content that's going to, you know, help people on their spiritual walk and help on their financial walk as well. God bless you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.